It's Thursday today and yesterday, yeah, it's Thursday. Uh, yesterday I was going to work out and I didn't and today I was needing to work out to get my three workouts in for the week and I didn't and I'm not going to. Um, sometimes I go through just funks where I could be really on track and really good at, at doing the things I need to do and then I just lose it. It's like, the way I think about it is like, uh, if you ever watch horses at the racetrack and they're all running around and then one of them trips and he stumbles and it takes him a little bit to get back going, doesn't mean he won't win the race. I've seen, you know, even in humans, amazing things happen, not that they win, but they come in really, they still place well um, because they get up and keep running. So that's kind of where I'm at. It kind of feels like I have a soul cold, I guess you could say. Um, we get colds for our bodies, so why can't we get colds for our souls? kind of just feels like my soul is, or my spirit is just, um, I wouldn't say depressed because I, I mean, I can get out of bed and it's not, you know, all encompassing and, uh, it's not never, it's not going to not go away. I would, I would say depression is more a permanent thing. I don't feel like this is permanent. And by the way, I am dressed even though it might look like I'm topless. Um, I wouldn't say this is permanent. I would say it's more just like a soul cold. Like I just kind of am in a funk and I, I don't feel like working out and I don't feel like doing the things I need to do. I don't feel like eating well and working out. Doesn't mean I'm gonna do this forever. It just means I need to give myself a little bit of time. I need to give myself a little bit of a break. Um, when I felt this way before, sometimes it's easy to be hard on yourself and, and if you lose your motivation, you think, oh, I'm never going to get it back. This is terrible. I've lost it. But I've learned from my past experience that that's not true. Just because you have a week where you just say, I'm not doing well this week, I'm not on track, doesn't mean that you can't get back on track next week. So, while I feel like I have a soul cold, I know it'll go away and I know I'll get back on track. For women also, I feel like there are different times, different cycles, or um, it could even be a certain day of the week. I feel like uh, females definitely have hormonal rhythms or even just rhythms to your body so that's something that's very important to pay attention to also do you always feel really tired on one day of the week typically it sounds strange but on Mondays I always have a lot of energy and I feel really great and then Tuesdays I crash and I'm tired and it kind of feels like hey wait a minute I thought I started off the week really well but now that I'm paying attention to that I kind of know that things go in cycles so just because you might be in a blah cycle doesn't mean you won't be back on top of the wheel. Someone explained it to me like this before. In life, you're on a wheel. You've got your arms and legs spread out and you're grabbing onto the wheel and the wheel's rolling. So sometimes you're on top and sometimes you're on the bottom. If you're on the bottom, you will be on top again. You just have to remember that because when you're on the bottom, sometimes it doesn't feel like you'll ever be on the top again, but you'll be on the top again. So it's very important to remember that. You'll always be on top again. <laughs> Even if you don't feel it, just tell yourself that and know it. For this week, the third week, that's where I'm at. I have a soul cold. <laughs> it's the only way I know how to explain it. I know it'll go away and I hope it goes away soon. I'm, I'm doing things to actively try and make it go away. Rest is one of them. Even just little bits of productivity when, when the moment strikes, when you have that inspiration, do something. Clean the bathroom mirror, drink water, go for a little tiny walk. Even if it's something small, sometimes that's enough to spark another action and spark another action and you can get momentum and get on a roll. You never know what's going to trigger it. So I'm jumping on opportune moments. I'm finding opportune moments. And I'm also listening to motivational tapes and watching YouTube videos. I've been listening to Tony Robbins. Sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. But again, your motivation is always changing. You have to find it every day. It's not in the same place every day. Today, it's in a different place, but I'm finding it. And I'm kind of just resting.
going with it. And that's okay. It's okay. It's okay. <laughs>